Hey everybody, welcome back to the run back, Ultra David and Jimmy C. How's everybody going? So we have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 coming up. We actually seems like we have top eight. Nice. So we've got some good matches still coming up for you tonight. Yep. Here in Marvel, so good Marvel action. You know everybody loves their Marvel. So Yeah, yeah. So we have Richard Wen. Uh, yeah, yeah, go Richard Wen on the one player clock, side right. and the clock. All right. The clock. I know. Clockwork rolling out that new team. Yes. I mean, if you follow Virgil him on, on Twitter, front. he's NBC Clockwork on Twitter. Work with a zero. But, uh, you know, he had been talking to people. He's like, these are the characters I'm going to use. And he listed five specific characters. Like, yeah. What should I practice with these characters? You know, a lot of players out there. It's really interesting how different social media has kind of affected a lot of these players, you know. That sounds like a very interesting conversation for another day. It's actually true, huh? Yeah, you yeah, You just yeah. do that on Ultra Chen TV. Which I, you I never oh. watch that. <laughs> oh, character select? Yeah. Ultra Chen TV on Mondays and Tuesdays. I don't know anybody who watches that. Tuesday uh, at 8 p.m. part of Round Tuesday. On Monday at 8 p.m. <laughs> it is first attack at 8 p.m. and level 3 focus at 9 p.m. or whatever time I get home from work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So. Since I don't work, I mean, the whole lawyer thing being an invention. We did the we did the device. we did the fray thing today, and I got home like 10 minutes late because there was traffic at my exit on the freeway. I was so yeah, late. it's a hard life. It's a hard life. All right. So, so Clockwork, Clockwork is starting Strider here. Strider, Doom, and Virgil. He had Virgil Doom Strider before. Oh, oh that was such a sick sequence. Wow. That was so smart. And he's wow. gonna pay for this. Well, maybe anyway. Let's see whether Mad Cat. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, and then he missed his Strider. Oh, just didn't expect. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't keep it up. Assist was not ready. So Strider didn't work out in front. We can go with Doom this time. Oh wow, couldn't convert that quite there. Ooh, he caught Virgil him with was the. Out at least. Yeah, he caught him with the jam session. Get some extra damage with that Strider assist. And Dick Wynn has another chance to steal this with at least one character. Yeah, but look keep in mind, if Doom dies, both of the characters remaining are both competent anchors. Ooh, he in did fact, a, well, he did really a two of the best there. anchors. Maybe the two best anchors. Yeah, he did a reset. And Strider got a lot of his life back, and he's going to be able to finish off Strider. Uh, I'm sorry, Zero. Okay. All the work he can do right now without using x Factor or a meter is, is gravy. Interesting using that fire there. Oh, oh see, he, saw, he was waiting for the Strider call and yeah. dashed forward under. That was bad luck. Oh, and he got both of them. He got both of them. And he's going to keep it going with X-Factor. So yep. smart. Oh, smart slide into that. Oh, that was so good. Uh, oh, and then Strider comes in and has to make one block X-Factor immediately so he doesn't get chipped. Oh, did you see that sick little maneuver where he climbed the wall and immediately jumped off? Great stuff to Richard Wynn to actually block it in the correct direction. So Clockwork obligated to stick with Strider in front. Didn't go well, so well last time, but a little bit better start here. Yep. Gonna have a setup for himself. Gotta be looking for some reset, and oh, he yeah. was. Ooh, okay, not quite keeping the... He only had Doom in that combo. Strider was okay. Caught him with that. Oh! Dude, there's like so many things flying around. I can't figure it's out. It's Marvel 3! Yep. Bombs and birds and wow, bears. Zero. Oh my. Oh, nice. Got him from the other side. I like nice. This. Again, you got to be watching out for some kind of resets. Oh. Oh, he went for a. Yeah, he wanted. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. the missiles. He forgot about the missiles. Right in the level three. <laughs> Should do it. <laughs> Boom. Yes, it does. So just Strider remains for Dick Win. But with X Factor and three bars, if he blocks correctly on the way in, it could be good. Just a little too high up. For and he has to block. And great. Readiness from wow! Oh, what? oh, he got him low. He just caught him low that time. So here we go. But Strider, a low damage character. By the time he kills him right here, no, he he, he can be he can be good. He can he can kill oh, Doom. Yeah, he can get right. He still, he still has X Factor time to mix up Virgil. And he got him. And he can definitely steal this. He's got meter on the drop here. Oh, don't run out, X Factor! Just oh, ran out! But then he did. went for the air throw. Smart stuff. Okay. He went for the air throw. Nice. Wow. If that X Factor hadn't run out, that would have been it on the super, but oh, he yeah. something else. Fight. 
down to taking a little bit of damage. Clock Zero sticking with Strider in the front after losing. He's not even going to change. That's cool. I mean, like I said, that's the trickiest thing about Strider. You have to be so brave playing this character because any hit is death. And Richard dropping a combo again. Yeah, did he press H rather than let go? I'm not sure. Oh, Clockwork unable to convert that. Usually Clockwork is pretty good about converting Doom combos. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Let's see if Richard can keep this going. Right, Looking good so go. far. But again, I remember that situation that Clockwork was in before. Nice just seals it. With his final two characters being the two best characters for Anchor yeah. in the game. Oh. So he's, he's still not out of this. Yeah, but Strider is down. He's going to have to make, obviously, the good guess coming in as Virgil. But if he does, it can be really dangerous. Okay. Oh, no. He turned around and he got hit from the front. So this could potentially be it. All he needs is an X Factor level three. Or. Yeah, why not? Dude, I'm not even sure how he bounced off of there. Uh, once he got the level three to hit, I'm not sure what he juggled him with on the ground. But here goes Clockwork. He's going to change teams. He's down. At least change One order. Two. Oh, he is going to change teams. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do Mammy Strider. Yep, back to his wheelhouse. Always wanted to make Strider work in Marvel 3. Strider's a tricky he's, character. He's right? never been happy with how that character yeah. turns out. I've picked him up recently on my team. And he's, yeah. he's, a, he's a tricky little character to use. Yeah. I gotta watch out for those Vajras. Yeah, that's a major problem for Doom. He can't really... Well, nice block there. But he's, he's, I mean, that, that Vajra like, forces him to go in. He can't just stay away. Right. Hey, it's really interesting. You see Richard switching between Dante and then Vajra. Okay, no, he's just going with Dante now. Trying to lock Clockwork down. Oh, he wasn't getting hit. His zero was free, so here comes zero. He's going to try to finish off Doom. Try to get as much damage as possible so he doesn't even need to worry about the lightning loop. Great block from Clockwork on the incoming. And he got him with the air throw, and he's not going to do anything else. That was really interesting. I, yeah. I think he just, it was just an error, but somehow manages to pick him up anyway. Ooh. Little staring contest, and we starting things off with a very fast jab. That was new. I like that. Zero. Dead. Okay. Paper. Oh, nice. nice block, yeah. Defaulting the cross up. That was a great placement for Clockwork. Oh, nice. Oops. Arf, 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 arf. Double characters. Definitely Strider's oh. done in this. Dante probably, especially once Strider yeah, comes in. Here comes the. Oh, he's going to go oh, into the. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Just didn't even know which way to block. I didn't even know what side Strider was coming down from. Yeah. That'll happen. Nice right, follow up. up. Oh, oh so good that it hits behind him I like know. that. Uh, here we go. Can Richard get this? I mean, Richard used to be one of the most consistent at this, and then Elliver kind of took over that status. But Richard getting the combo fully. So now it's just Dog and Strider. Oh, a trade. Oh, and he got the Dog, but the Dog somehow flipped out. Nice wait. He was looking for counter there and just yeah. let Dante do the work for him. Oh, he reflected oh, up. That <laughs> was so sick. Both. He reflected Jam Session and the Mega Buster. It was so good. Oh, and he got uh, him. He got him. Uh, oh, not quite dead. He's just going to take the opportunity to DHC out. Oh, no. What did he hit him with? Jam Session? I guess yeah, that's what he wasn't looking for. It wasn't what he was looking for. Yeah. Now he's got X-Factor 3 Strider, which is potentially all he needs. Right. Nice oh, he got him with the air throw. Richard must have hit a button. Oh. Accidentally came out with that. Oh! oh whoa! Whoa! He wants to take out Strider. He doesn't want to risk anything like that from, from Richard Wynn. Oh. If he can pick this character out right now. Okay, into Ouroboros. Can he oh, just team. react with this? Yeah. Yeah, smart. I mean, I think he could have blocked oh. it, but all the Striders start mashing jab right when they come out of that. So it's actually a smart move. Oh, he almost had Dante. And now this is a problem with Clocker because he's got to deal with non-X-Fact. Oh, oh got nice. the ground bounce. Yeah, Richard he's tried to get up there and meet him in the air. It did not work. 
Dude, he's so good at using that wall climb as clockwork. I, dude, I gotta steal that. Oh, did he get him? He did, but unable to continue that combo when Dante's by himself. And he's using the opportunity to call oh, out nice. the drone. Oh, he tried oh, to jab him, but the, the tiger. tiger saves him. Uh, oh, oh, nice reaction. He and just, he comboed it! Reacted to the missiles with that. Came in, he just barely got enough meters. Is that gonna seal it? Boom! Wow! wow. Great stuff with Strider and most. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But yeah, seriously, like he did a lot of that comeback, non X Factor Strider. Ah, that was nice. That Good was some. Stuff. That was some honest Strider, something you don't yeah. see very often. And Even at the point, I mean, point honest Strider, but then also on the anchor. Right. I mean, that's. A, I mean, yeah, you know, he has no assist to even help him. Right. And Clockwork. I mean, he's used to this. I said you have to be brave with him, dude. He played him in MVC two. MVC two. He had the same problem, dying in like a. It's like a like you could blow him over with wind and he would just yeah. die. Yeah, I mean he was a little more effective in other ways, but yeah, for sure, for sure. But it's that same kind of feeling, you know. You know that if you get touched, you're gonna die. Yet you still go in as hard as possible. Obviously, he usually had the the, the, the cover of the Ouroboros Doom Rock right, trap. Right, right, right. Well, speaking of Strider Doom, we got another one coming up. Oh, zero. Well, uh, in in X Strider Doom players from Marvel Two and Killer Kai. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who traveled all around? Uh, he would travel to the East Coast and travel to other places as a Marvel 2 player and, and was one of the, you know, outside of Clockwork obviously being number one with Strider Doom, he was one of the, was one of the next. Right, right. Yeah. Clockwork has always been known as the Strider Doom. He was pretty much the paragon of the Strider Doom team composition. So for, for Elever, I think it makes sense to go to a character like Zero who can get blown up. He doesn't have very much life himself, but uh, can just, you know, be very controlling. His, te his team is definitely a control team. Virgil yeah. Zero Strider. All characters with below uh, average health, but super, super solid. Zero four nine one. We've seen him do, uh, do really well. Oops. Oh, he went up for the air throw. Didn't yeah. quite get it. Cross up helm was that? Hard to see. Wow, he is just breaking his helm all over the place. Yeah, but he's not using an X Factor to finish off 0491, nor is he going with the Super, which is a really interesting decision. It's like he wants to save the meter for zero. Well, for a bunch of that, he didn't have Super. Okay, okay. Well, he's got the swords out now. They're gone by now. Oh, oh. he's punished, and he does. Very, very risky by 0491. Oh, did you see that? The, 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 the zero barely tapped him off that. That was nice. I like that. Oh, try to get Strider to knock him down after that. But it didn't work out. Oh, nice. Just a little throw. That's oh, so, so sick. sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. He, he was telling me about that combo. I, I haven't so seen it before, good. but it was really nice. That's so good. Okay, now he's willing to burn it when he can take yeah. care of Virgil. He just wanted to make sure he would get that anchor done. I agree with this decision. Because look, the, the other two characters have already lost over half their health. So finishing off all of Virgil means he's got half-life characters to deal with. Yeah, and two characters who are not quite the comeback specialist as Virgil. Oh, I oh, love that yes. X-Fact. Whoops. Oh, what the heck is going on? Doesn't matter. He got Virgil going back and forth, left and right, left and right. And he got him. He picked him up. He didn't continue the combo off the ground. Missed his dash or something. Wow. Doesn't seem to matter. Oh, no. Commentator's curse again. Yeah, but Killer Kai is so close to getting chipped here. So he hard, wow, he hard tags, and I guess without X Factor. Oh, he got him. He do. crossed up, but just wasn't close enough. Problem with Strider, even though he has a sword, his range is kind of. Oh, he used the counter. Uh, I'm not sure intentionally, because that's kind of a weird situation to use yeah. it. But that is that is a good assist to be using the counter with. Yeah. Just not in that situation. Oh, he picked him up. He picked him up. So now a simple level three combo probably. No, wow. he went for some fanciness. Why? He, you know, he was probably wondering, should I level three? Should I do this? Should I do that? And then it almost cost him, but gets it anyway. Wow. Got him with the air throw. He should be able to continue the combo. Oops. Oh. Is he trying to get that hard tag? He, to he hit? does. He does have hard. Yeah, he told me he has 1.2 million hard tag combos. Oh, that wow. might have been one of them. Off of a throw too. That's what would make it so sick. It would reset the damage. Well, not reset the damage. It's just that the damage scaling off of the right. throw would no longer be an effect. Right. Oh, 
Oh, he got him with the Strider Assist, but wasn't able to keep the combo going. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah. This is a big one right here. Got a character that's really good at taking advantage of this stuff. Let's do super. That's what he's going to do. And another one. Oh. I'm just going to keep hitting him until he turns invincible. Yep. Nice air dash up. He's got to get out of the way. No, he's going to. Wow, okay. I thought he. So it's going to be a punishment incoming, but no. Ooh, he got to the side, but the air dash momentum slid Doom too far, so he couldn't keep the combo going. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it's just the simple stuff, man. Level three. Oh, no. Whatever. Can Killer Kai do it? Can he steal it? And he does. Oh, dude, he was doing the fancy one. He was not even doing the Mega Buster. He was just practicing the loops. Really, you throw in the Mega Buster there just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Virgil crouching to start things off. Already down half life. Virgil extension. And now he can start loops. It's pretty fast. Just like that, Virgil's done. Good like good oh, oh, he lands with it. With the pizza cutter. Let's just do it. And then in the super, X Factor in the super. Or let's just do the fancier method. Can he keep it up though? Oh, yeah, that's not that easy with, with that hit stop right. in there. Oh, and then he's just going to chip him to death. 0491 is going to let him go because now he has a level 3 X Factor Virgil, but there's just nothing you can do to that. He's got to guess, and he guessed wrong. Yep. That's about all there is to it. Smack. Very quick couple of games by Killer Kai. Yep. And Killer Kai, the look on his face right now. He's got that <laughs> Killer Kai with the killer stare, you know? It's always those eyes. It's that brow he has. It causes those shadows on his eyes. He always just looks so he looks so threatening. They are special, special eyes. Yep. And here we go, Helmbreaker fun. Oh sick. To put the opponent into the corner. That was awesome. Oh, nice. Right, he's got him, and now he should be able to finish Zero off. Sword juggle in the washing machine. Uh, oh, but a little too small. Not through. Gotta watch out for that Strider assist. Yep. Oh, Helmbreaker. How is he canceling the Helmbreaker into a standing S? Shouldn't he have, like, a delay? Is there a cancel in there going on? or That's so weird. Oh, the hard tag combo. Oh, it didn't, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. But he went for it. That's some new Virgil technology there, getting the round trip to combo and having enough time to hard tag the next character in. Killer Kai just hanging out where he, he needs to be. I mean, he's not giving Doom really opportunities to approach. Being yeah. very mobile, getting away underneath Doom. I kind of saved timings because he had some cover. Yeah, we talked about Filipino champs tier list a little bit earlier on the stream today. And one of the things that I noticed is he put Doom in top five. And I asked him, do you really think he's top five? He gets blown up by a lot of characters. And he says it's really just about his assists and TAC combo. He says other than that, he actually considers Doom like he only beats like half the characters, but he dies badly to the other half. Oh, what? Oh, Killer Kai is going to convert on this. Get that extra little bit of damage Ooh. in there. And now Dr. Doom has to guess. Man, what a big turnaround just because of the lost combo. Swords, Devil Trigger. 0491 trying to wait this out. Oh, oh it's no, not gonna he just work. got hit. I don't know what he got hit by. Oh, didn't kill. Yeah, he didn't have the super because he was in Devil Trigger. And you can't build meter while you're in Devil. Oops. Yeah, he's just waiting for his assist to do the work, and it did. Good stuff, Eliver. Oh, good job to 0491 too. That, what was that? Was that uh, Winter Semis? Uh, this is Winter's Finals coming in now? Yeah, so that was Winter Semis. Oh, so Clockwork versus Killer Kai. A duo. Oh, man. Those two Strider Dooms. Game that I know the most about. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> Encyclopedic knowledge of that game. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That game... I mean, it's so interesting with that game because the knowledge in that game is kind of like how we are with Super Turbo. It's like 
really specific. Mm -hmm. The knowledge in that game has just become really, really specific. Yeah, I kind of wish I knew something about it. But yeah. it's, a little, it's a little late for that. Yeah, but that's that's what happens to those games that are played forever, right. like Super Turbo, like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, two of the some of the longest lasting games. Mm -hmm. It's actually really sad to me that a lot of people have stopped MVC 2. I always said when MVC 3 came out, there's no reason to stop playing 2. Yeah. But the problem is, I think. MVC, like, you could jump from Super Turbo to Street Fighter 4 reasonably well, but for some reason, the, the button config change and everything. It's definitely and, a different game, yeah. Yeah, in Marvel 3 and Marvel 2, the, the button config change and just, like, some of the small things just make it so it's really hard to jump back and forth. I mean, it's kind of like going from ST to Third Strike. Like, it's, it might be the same button layout, but the game is just a different yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be called Street Fighter, but it's not. Right, but that's what I mean. You know. It's The players can still play both. Like, oh, yeah, you can yeah. jump back and forth, but in Marvel, you can't jump back and forth as easily. Like, I remember Yipes was even saying one time he was playing MVC 2 again in some exhibition match, and he's like, I have to unlearn Marvel 3. This is so confusing, oh, wow. you know. It's kind of sad. Yeah. And wow, Clockwork is going with. The redhead. Ooh, that would have been a cool combo, Eddie, if he had gotten that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Strata in Phoenix. I didn't even see that he had Phoenix in the back. Oh, wow. wow. Hard tag. tag. Well, he knows his, his character's not going to get killed that much. He knows Strider has to go for a reset. Right. And he did with the TAC kind of reset. Cool. With a simple Doom combo here. Yeah, we saw Doom, We saw him try uh, infinite stuff earlier. It didn't, didn't work out. Yeah, you got to be careful. I mean, the one thing about those TACs that are so tough with Doom is that every opponent is a different timing. You really have to spend the time to practice that combo on every character. All right, here she comes. She's pretty far away from five. Oh, Ooh, Ooh. didn't get the OTG. Zero doesn't have an easy OTG. Uh, oh, that's, that's she's it. She's done. She's, she's, she's done. Okay. Okay, so good look for Killer Kai. Unfortunately for Clockwork, Strider comes in next rather than Doom with this. Is Doom coming in? He, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't hate losing this character, but to lose Strider right now is pretty much sealing the deal. So we'll see what kind of comeback Doom can make. Obviously, if he gets a hit, he can kill. It's just a question of whether he will. Oh, the Strider says blew him up. Oh! No. Okay. Got him. Yeah, that's it. He can do it again, and that, that is what he's doing. Is he going to get hit? No, he made it through, and he kills zero. And he got... Oh, it's Strider! Strider's in there. What a windfall. Boom! Wow, but now this has delay. Oh, but he's too far away to be able to punish that. Wow, good stuff for Clock. Great awareness. Oh, he's underneath it. Nope, not quite in time. Not quite in time. Great blocks up and blocks. Clockwork. Just trying to stay away. Oh, it's foot side versus Helmbreaker. Wow, there's some crazy kind of zoning going on right now. All right, now he's got to wait it out. So he's just going to yeah. try to slow things down. He gets a hit, actually. That's good for him. Wow, Ooh, why would he come in against yeah. Virgil like that? Oh, but he didn't have any meter for the super. Oh, he came in. Can't Clockwork do this? It's going to be. Oh, the this is the Doom corner combo. Not a hard combo. Yeah. Very. Very easy combo. Man, Very rare nuts. to drop that, but... That was nuts. Yeah. Marvel 3! <laughs> the reason why everyone asks when this game is, because they definitely get the most excitement out of it. Great regular throw. Did he start Strider last time? Who, Clockwork? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, he did. Okay. Oh, missed it. Seems like both of them know that little... Nice conversion. Oh no. Got him with the air throw. C in the stinger, in the hard tag. Oh, oh there well, it was, yeah. It's cool though. Oh no, never mind. Oh. Ooh, not quite able to get that. Yeah, he saw it wasn't working out, so he backs off. He's really trying to play that hit and run stuff. Clock it right now. Oh, he got him, but couldn't convert oh, off of block. it. Oh, sick block! Wow, a hard tag in the Strider. We've seen some interesting hard tags today, like yeah. some weird timing just to say when the so you see Strider teleported into the bomb. He set us. He set him up the bomb. <laughs> oh, good block. She's still alive. She's just blocking, but she's not getting that much meter for it okay. in a hard tag. Hard tag is not that big a deal. Well, unless he dies like this. If she gets hit, she might she might get five in time. Oh, definitely now. Yeah, definitely yeah, now. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. she's got five. 
uh, barring any kind of tricks from Killer Kai. Huh, interesting that he didn't continue to keep going. Alright, here we go. We haven't seen a Dark Phoenix. Oh, he got the... Ooh, what? He trained the meter and Clock just didn't even counter it. Why did he not it? go side? He forgot. Oh, he, for he forgot? Is that what he said? Yeah. Sick. He just said he forgot. He's the best. That's all Clock said. He was just like, here comes Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then it's like, oh, wait. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, he literally <laughs> yeah, just right? said... Yeah, right? Why not? Like, he just said he forgot. Oh, there it is. There's that hard tag combo. That's interesting. So basically, you have a combo that leads into Zero's mix-ups, but see, he wants to get Phoenix, and that's exactly what he's going to get. He tried to come down with the dive and just got blown up for it. Oh, pressing H, looking for grab, I guess, and that, that did not work out. Yeah, that, that, that situation there is so good because even Zero hits the wrong way on that flip, the Strider hits, connects. Right. Killer Kai working on, I think, a perfect incoming mix up on Strider. Oh, he got him with an air throw. I don't even know how he set that up. I don't know what that setup was, but whatever it was, it was nasty. Should be about it. Perfect. Sick. Yep. Good stuff. It's those 19 golden letters, man. This is winner's finals, remember, so Killer Kai is trying to get in the grand finals. Guarantee himself at least top two. Cockburg doesn't like the team arrangement. Do Mammy? Yeah. Yep. Going back to the OG clock team. Oh, well, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. Doom. With hidden missiles, Abby, uh -huh. Strider. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it's so funny because he uses Team White as well because he has a white Amy. I do the same thing, but I have a white Felicia instead. Yeah. yeah. So you never notice what color you play. Instead of a dog. I don't notice that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, locking him down with those foot dives, but I mean, sorry, with the Amy assist. So Kai's got him. Yes. Oh. oh yeah, there you go. Nice. But he just and then dropped didn't get that. Yeah. I guess he must have just been so excited, like, sick, I got that on stream. But then, you know, drops the rest of the combo. Ah, uh, they both that. That was so sick. Yeah. That was actually really good to not go in, having yeah. seen that the Strider hit. Oops. Oh, I see. He team supered. Okay. I us forget that that makes the same noise. Oh, oop, as level oop. three? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Too much hit stun deterioration, but not close enough for... Oh, but look, the dog taking some damage here. And now he's just going to get back there and try to run out. So get oh, moved. Oh, he's got it. But nice. Doom gone. Switch not looking like it's been all that useful for him so far. He had a big chance with... Oh! Just landed on him. See what he can do against Burger. Oh, what the heck happened there? Oh, blocked it. Oh, yeah. but an X Factor right when he touched the button. Great timing on that X-Factor. Clockwork did not X-Factor to save his own Amy. Oh, here we oh! go, here we go, here we go. The ball back down, so smart. Oh, but he drops it. Oh my god, you have so long to do that. Just caught him out of the Vajra. And that is plenty to take down Strider. So Killer Ooh. Guy has made it into winners finals. Yeah, he knows, that's cool. He was like, Small yeah. Muscle. Sometimes things happen. My S is so good. Alrighty. Yeah, it's uh, it's about what, two ten in the morning. Is it right now? It is. Oh. It's two ten in the morning. Oh, well, we know so one one of the people who's going to be in grand finals is a lock. It's Killer Kai. Yes. But we still have to find out who is going to face through losers. How many people do we have to run through in losers? Are we? We have two matches, so loser semis coming up. Okay. Okay, so LLND and 0491 are playing off screen right now, and winner of that will play Richard Wynn in Loser Semis. Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. So we're just going to wait a little bit for that, I guess. Do you think his hair does that naturally? I think so. I think so. That's what happens when you're born a handsome man like that. Does your hair do this naturally? Does your hair do this naturally? Really? 
called good jeans, my friend. Good jeans. <laughs> yeah. He's got that stylish little swirl on his hair oh by man. default. Is he going blue steel right now? Did you see that? Did he blue steel us? He was, he was doing blue steel. Dude, he needs oh, he's looking to try not to laugh. You can laugh. Dude, he needs to learn what Yang <laughs> says when Yang does his taunt. And, like, what does Yang, ta Yang say? I don't know what he says, but you know how he like, brushes his hair when he taunts? So, ah. so Richard needs to do that as well. There's something about Richard. There's something about Richard, dude. I, I appreciated it when you picked up on that joke earlier. <laughs> that was good. That was a, that was a good pickup. <laughs> Dude, sometimes it's scary that people can pick things up. There was one time uh, someone asked if uh, if a tournament was going to be SD or HDR, right? No, no, I think it was like Max was saying, like, we need to play, right? And uh -huh. someone was asking, are you guys going to play ST or HDR? And my response was, there is no HDR, only ST. And he's and Maximilian responded with, there is no Dana, only Zool. And I was like, wow, I cannot believe you picked up on that. Because that's exactly what I was trying to reference is Ghostbusters. So. Man. I mean, I can see that reference. It's not like what I would immediately think. Right, exactly. You know? But the fact that he picked it up was pretty impressive. I mean, impressive. like, it makes sense, but it's not, like, so famous a line. That yeah, yeah, exactly. Good job to Max. No Max is an knowledgeable guy. He says that uh, pretty much if it, when it comes to Ghostbusters and uh, and what was the other movie? Back to the Future. He's got it all unlocked. Ah, so, Back to yeah. the Future, eh? Probably knows all the random trivia, little hidden things in Back to the Future. Did so. you see that... Um, that uh, Mark Hamill's going to be back in the in the new Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. 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 Princess Leia. Well, Carrie Fisher, Carrie Fisher already signed up for it. Yeah. I think Harrison Ford is the only one left. No, no, he's in there. Oh, he's in there now. Oh, okay, he's so they're there. all in. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm so curious to see what's going to happen with that. I swear. I'm I'm mostly curious and a little little apprehensive. But yeah, because I mean the thing about it. Oh, Le dude, goats. The goats. No, go back to the goats. <laughs> do, do you have more goats? <laughs> Got to do the, got to do the Taylor Swift goats, right? I knew I, you I want trouble when you walk. I in. want a goat C. I want to see goats. <laughs> you want to? Okay, <laughs> I just got that. Oh, did you? You want a lot of goats, so you want a goat C. Uh, that's right? correct. Okay, yes. fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually heard that that's, that might be the only goat in that clip that's actually a fake. That That's not the real goat noise? That that Only that clip. Like, there's a big, giant I, goat I've clip. Seen, I've seen, yeah. like, a few goat clips Yeah, but now. someone was saying that one might be the one that's, like, fake because it's, like, a very famous sound bite, <laughs> but I don't know. I like the one. There's one video where the last goat goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the same video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lost it, dude. dude. Have you seen the variant of that of the? Because you know they were all doing that with the Taylor oh, Swift song, man. right? Yeah. Where she does that, they use the goat. There's a variant of it that uses Arturo now. Oh yeah. That goes uh, and he goes ah <laughs> in the middle of I there. I saw so. one that uses uh, a paper, an automatic paper towel dispenser. <laughs> 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 Like oh, that's turned into an it, internet meme thanks to the sheep. It is definitely 2:30 in the morning. Oh yeah, this is this <laughs> is when we <laughs> this is when <laughs> everything's the, off the, the rails now, man. The professionalism goes everything's away, off dude. The rails. Oh my god. Oh, uh, so zero four nine one one L L N D. Congratulations, got fifth place. Did you you said we're waiting for blah and zero four nine one two, and now you just said zero four nine one one. You need to keep this up. I'm afraid there aren't any more words in the English language that do that. I wish I could help so you out. So for dinner, I wonder what 04918. Oh, see, I wanted to count. I wanted to count. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Gotcha. Gotcha. But what would you want to do? Oh, never mind. That one didn't work. Yeah, I mean, I can think of slant rhymes and stuff, but there's not like a yeah, 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 yeah. Not exactly. Like exact. exactly. All right, so Mad Cats versus 0491. Mad Cats Raffle Monster, come Look, on. This is, this is, we're, we speak English, all right? We have a Latin alphabet. We don't have some syllabary. We don't have some hieroglyphics, okay? Are you hating on my country's written language, man? All I'm saying is that it's a terribly inefficient method of, of Are you writing. hating on my country's I think it's inefficient. Language? Yeah. Our, our language is perfectly fine. That's why we have a simplified and a traditional version of it. Yeah. Uh. 
I definitely do not approve of the simplified, but I understand oh, yeah? the reason for it. Yeah. Well, I don't approve of a form of Hebrew that gives you vowels. I think that we should just use the form of Hebrew that doesn't have any vowels. There's a form that has no vowels? Vowels. All you write is consonants and some things that are typically taken as vowels. So Deal with that. What would we be called it's then? Magic. So one, we couldn't be called eSports. We'd be called... No, you just right? kind of kinda figure out. I and mean, then what, what would Arturo you say respond it, there, with that? You have vowels, right? but. How would you respond to Arturo? How would Arturo respond to that? He'd just be like... Mm. Insert automatic yeah. towel dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And Dante's dead. So Zero and Dante both dead. All right, we'll Strider, we'll Strider die or will he not? Oh, using I, the rapid slash to avoid like the will. counter. Yeah. Oh, he Ooh, didn't. It's just too high up. But look just at press the HS, range. HS. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he's trying to kill Doom. Look at wow, Doom. Wow, he actually is going to do it. Yeah, Doom lost. Oh, no, then he got hurt. Oh, great block. Oh. Ooh. But you can only block for so long in this game. Yeah. Zero Ouroboros. I'm sorry, yeah, Strider Ouroboros is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Ooh, zero, air throw zero. Oh, man. No assist to keep that going. Was not charged up. For the Ooh, Mega one Buster. of their H's beat the other one. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of an interesting, uh, like, a safety check. You can't get the throw into the dive into Mega Buster because you got to throw with the with the H button. Oh, I guess he could have charged up with one of the other buttons. Never mind. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, drops the combo. Watch for hearts. Oh, no, he's going to get up there. Oh, that Doom. What can he do with this? No, not a lot. Yeah, but he's still alive. He's really stretching the zero out. Wow. Just trying to take that zero to infinity. Nice combo. <laughs> Math jokes, man. Nice. Oh, oh. The shadow actually messed it up. Oh, he can continue comboing after that. Yeah. Good push block there. The push block time perfectly just so he could punish. He caused Strider to whiff an attack. Gave him the perfect timing to punish. Oh, jeez, I don't even know what happened there. X Factor up to the B. Oh, come in there! It got zero. Unfortunately, this single super on its own is going to take out about a quarter of his X Factor time. Yeah. Incoming Doom. Oh, oh nice. he got him! Oh, oh it Wow, that needed to work. Oh no, and he's gonna get hit too, and he's gonna teleport into the swords. Okay. And he's gonna be able to X Factor. Yeah, Richard really needed to add X Factor himself, but. Oh no, he was in X Factor, never mind. I'm oh sorry. wow, that was yeah. fortuitous. Yeah, let's go. Nice. One of them saw that one of them had hit, and so he went in, and now he's hitting him 30 times, 35 times. Keep up, man. He's already at 60. What am I, an automatic counting machine? There's 82 hits in total. Good stuff. Yeah, I've, I've, seen, I've seen more hits. Yeah. 88 hits. I mean, 82 hits is not that important. Sorry, I got the number 88 because I was thinking of Mike Ross, right? And oh, man. I had the number 88 because I was thinking about Back to the Future. <laughs> 88 gigawatts of energy. No, it was 88 miles per oh, hour. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, and yeah, how, you're right. how many gigawatts? Jeez, I can't remember. You can't remember? Now. I can't remember now. Can't really? I need Max's help on that one. It's 1.21. 1.21, 1.21 gigawatts of energy! Oh, oh reset. good stuff. I like the little little back movement first, yeah. just to make it a little bit harder to see which side he was going to land on. And if he had jumped he from where he was, it would have been clear across up. Misses the hammer, but then just gets the air throw. Uh-oh, orb, orbs time. Oh. oh, that's hard to get through, yeah. Oh, oh wow! Combo did not keep going. Doing a good job blocking for a little bit. And Orb's done. Oh, but that said. Yep. 
picks it up. Richard Wen takes it two to one, and he's on the verge of getting to losers finals, where Mad he will play against Clockwork. Yep, Mad Cat's Raffle Monster up two to one. Gets zero four nine one. That, well, that wasn't meant to happen, but at least he picks up Richard Wen zero after that, and even without a bar at the start of this combo, oh, he could have done a lot of work there and, and dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> Got the sheep again. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a sheep at the end of that video. <laughs> oh, dude, that sheep. Man, yeah. that was too good. Yeah. I don't know what's happening right now. Everybody's got their hands raised. Yeah. I mean, this com. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this combo's gonna last a while. I might as well switch away. But <laughs> never mind. Okay, this one's gonna last a while. So. Yeah, there you go. I don't I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. I'm not clear on the origins of this. It's hand raising time. They're just trying to give Richard a hand, that's all. Well, it's still happening. <laughs> I'll I'll keep you posted. Hands still currently raised. Good block. Oh, he tried to super cancel it. Yeah. Did not come out. Uh oh. Hands are now down. Wait, what? I repeat, the hands are now down. But why come? What? Look, I meant to say how come and why. <laughs> I just I don't understand what the hands are about. Anyway, so Richard Wynn takes it. Zero four nine one ends up in fourth place, and now it'll be. Dick Wynn versus Clockwork. Clockwork. Clockwork was the one who sent Richard to loser's bracket. Ah. Broken Tears Clockwork. Yep. Shout outs to Max, who is actually listening to us right now. Shout outs also to the remaining members of Broken Tear. Shout outs also yes. to the guys who have you know, switched, switched things up lately. I hope everything goes well. Yes, for sure. Look at Richard preening his hair. I told you that's all he's trying to do is just get it. Yeah, I like how he claimed that it's naturally like that. And since then, I've seen him mess with his hair at least five times. I know, right? I told you he's a fraud, dude. I told you all he wants is like, a look how Look how he even positions his head. He positions his head so, like, the downward most part of his forehead is on the left. It's all too well calculated, man. It's, just, it's a little too much. Too well calculated. See, that picture's better down at the bottom there. Just clockwork. We don't need to see Richard because all he's trying to do is get on camera, look pretty. Well, mission accomplished. Steal that spotlight. Yeah! See, Armando knows what's up. Wait, what did he do? Oh, nice. We got double clocks? Yes, exactly. And you can see our lovely Blitz 99 in the background. Blitz. It was a game. Pretty good game, actually. It's fun. Kind of like arcadey as far as sports games go. I wonder if Clockwork will teach his kids how to play fighting games, and then Clockwork's kids will teach their kids how to play fighting games, and then they can refer to Danny as Grandfather Clockwork, right? You know, I knew I knew it was going somewhere. <laughs> the build-up, you know, it was, it was worth it. The good Grandfather job. Clock, man. Yeah. Come on. Hey, yeah. Ugh. Oh, he threw him. He got him. It should be a dead zero. <laughs> yep, he threw him all right. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, but then he didn't the hit him. Dash. It's vital after you throw to hit. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is, honestly, to win this game, you really need to take off the, all of the energy of your opponent. That's really an important factor to fighting games. I don't know. I subscribe to the Gutex school of meter is everything. Meter is everything? Yeah, so meter is everything. So don't I don't like this use of meter right here by Mad Cats and blah, blah, blah. So important. Meter. Yeah. Oh. He's got to save it for the next round. But he used it, though, right there. He oh, used man. all three of them. What it. a crazy guy. So now he's at zero meter, so doesn't he lose then? Well, it's not over yet. I mean, he can still build up a bar. Don't kill him before you get the bar. Oh. oh. Actually, the key to victory is to make sure your opponent loses. That is definitely, that is the most important strategy to remember about fighting games. 
Personally, I, I incorporate as many tautologies as possible into my daily life. As many what? Tautologies. Tautologies? Yeah, man. Is that different ways to say goodbye? Look, Ta -ta. man, come back when you get on my level. <laughs> when it comes to wordiness. Sorry. Are you going to defenestrate me just because I don't know the words enough? I, we there's don't really have an open window. But there's a big enough window. You can throw me through it, I mean, right? I could, yeah. It's not, it's not a window, though, is the thing. There's, it's just a glass wall. Yeah, there's a bar towards the bottom. Turns it into, classifies it as a window. It's dubious. At best. Oh, man. Dante crouching L so fast. Ooh. Ooh, nope. Not quite fast enough. And yeah, he's going <laughs> to get... Not fast Ooh. Well. Just out of range for that. And then he gets the air throw on him. Not going to be able to do anything off of that, though. Oh, Ooh. sick. That was cute. Hard to see which way that was going to end up. And Ooh, Clockwork got bought cute. by it. His character should die. Oh, that was cute. Richard always showing off. Yeah, that's cute what he ending. Does. Yeah. Sets out some rain. Oh, but here comes Doggy. Oh, we got it! That was pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh -huh. I really like that. I, I, I never thought of that, actually. After you switched weapons, you used the L to keep that combo going. Oh, into Ooh, the paper, man. yeah. man. Paper's so strong. Yep. Never underestimate the power of the written word. That, that paper is really cool for fighting against Strider. Oh yeah, that's see, true. You see where he's just putting it there? Well, yeah. nice nice job by uh, Richard Wynn to get past it. Should be able to take this little character out in, I don't know, a couple seconds. Down. It's down to hear you, but... Oh, X-Factor immediately. He just wants to try to kill this character as yeah. quickly as he can. Looks My like that's God. probably what he's going to do. 2-0, Richard Wynn. Climbing the walls. Got a new job. Climbing, climbing the walls. <laughs> Thinking of that, they let the Giants' new album came out. Nanobots on the way. Can't wait to listen to that. Wait, Sorry, who? I'm just babbling about stuff. They what? might be giants. Oh, oh that yeah. was fancy. I remember that from the fogs of my youth. Dude, they have been making music forever. Yeah. Their new latest album just came out. People still selling albums? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> still, still thing? Hey, they were actually one of the very first bands to sell the, an album on the internet. <laughs> what? I'm serious. That is a, a good little piece of info. They're James. actually one of the very first ones. They have an all only downloadable album. This is like even before like iTunes became big and stuff like that. So it's a really good album. Looks oh. like Doctor Doom has been killed, and now Zero. Oops. Oh, yeah, he survives. Ooh. Oh, I like, it. I like it. Yeah. yeah. And then the paper. That paper. Clockwork's so good at using that paper. Mm, yeah, I like it. Zero, oh, maybe? Oh, yeah. Smart stuff. Make him lose all that red health. <laughs> an eye for an eye. Yeah, uh, Zero's actually still really dangerous. As long as he has a pixel, he's still he's still a problem. Oh, unless he runs right into Amy. Oh, got under the hammer. Mm -hmm. Hammer actually ran out of active frames. So he was able to hit it. Oh, good blocks from Richard. <laughs> he just knocked the dog now. All right, he should be able to finish off Strider. Well, uh, definitely now he should be able to. Personal challenge, don't use meter. Uh, got third. Great uh, blocks. Uh, oh, and Clockwork went for it, too. Uh, Did you uh, see uh, that? He actually went for it, did not pay out. Clockwork finishes in third place. Uh, 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 uh. And so now it is Killer Kai going up against the mystery man to his right. Who is to it? To his left. It is uh, Mr. It's Dick Wynn. Mad Cat's murmur, murmur, murmur. Dick Wynn is what it is. Oh, 
<laughs> pretty much, man. That's pretty much going on right <laughs> Pretty accurate. Dude, I didn't even mean to do that, to be honest. Oh, yeah. That was just, that was just total, like... <sighs> All right, let's see what characters up. Oh, one of them has zero, and so does the other one. And one of them has Strider, but so does the other one. And one of them has a character from Devil May Cry. Mm -hmm. One son of Sparta. And the other one has the other son of Sparta. I heard about that. I have, I have no independent knowledge that that's true. I'm but I heard sure from other people who that. care about those games that they are. Yeah, they're brothers. So, I'll, all right, cool. I mean, they look like they're brothers, but I, I can never really tell that kind of people apart. That kind of people apart? Yeah. I mean, video game polygonal Bitty. characters? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Under-sexualized male characters. Yeah, I mean, why bother looking at them? In Japan, dude, they are sexualized, man. That, that's the hot kind of character right there. Well, there's not nearly enough skin. They like emotional men in Japan. I mean, that's fine. Just as long as there are no clothes on. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? That's why I play Hulk. Yeah, Hulk just enough. lets it hang out. Fair enough. Yeah, he does. He does. That's why he's called the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I'm not convinced. Now I'm just thinking of a young Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty random. Oh, because of that. The scene in the cave. Oh, it's too good. That's such a great movie. Yeah, never, I've never seen it. You've never seen it? Oh my gosh. You need to see that movie. You will, that movie is right up your alley. Oh yeah, are there fart jokes? Oh, it, well, yeah, it's Mel Brooks. So they oh, okay, are definitely... Good, good, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I can be pretty sure of fart jokes, uh, Jewish jokes that probably nobody gets except for Jews. <laughs> oh, he's got it! Is it going to kill? Yes! Uh, Strider, the one character that would die to that. I see Armando typing in the chat. He's probably like, I, I promise, I, I, I will never, I will never yeah. invite these guys back again. Yep. Sorry, everybody. Oh, he got two of them. Happy Fiesta. <laughs> Dead. Oh, did not work. He forgot Good. about the lightning. And this could be a perfect. If it's not going to be a perfect, I'll make fun of him. What if it is a perfect? Then congratulations to him. Oh, come on, my guy. There you go. 28 golden letters. Good stuff. <laughs> 28 golden letters. Wow. Oh, oh this time. This. Yes. He did the con. Oh, okay. And then he drops it. For shame. Oh, nice. He went low, low on that. Yes. The empty, the whiff into the low. Still working on a perfect here. Wow. <laughs> Zero's the only character you could say that when he hits the first character. What's that? Oh, He's working, working on, on a perfect? perfect? Yeah, yeah, really. Because you're two mix-ups away from winning, theoretically. Yeah, pretty much. One, two, oh, no, oh, he dropped no. it. Oh, that's nothing caused chip. Ah, oh, there he did it. Richard Wynn wins. Oh, yeah, the, those moral victories? Yeah. Dude, that's what me and my friend do every time we play Street Fighter. When someone's about to get it perfect, yeah. all we want to do is get that chip. Oh, yeah. And when we get that chip, we just let go of the controller. For We're sure. like, I win. All right, well, he, he can still do this. Yeah. Now the no orbs are going to run but out. He's still in a better position than he will be in about 10 seconds. Oh, and then he wasted a meter too. I think he was playing the DHC out of that. But now he's got to deal with a counter X factor. He doesn't have enough meter to kill, so he's got to go have for a reset. reset. Oh, oh nice that blocking. was so good. Yeah. And here we go. And you like level three? Tough. You like level three Ouroboros? Let me show you. Level three Ouroboros. Nobody yes, that it. is all comboing, ladies and gentlemen. And that is it. Killer Kai has taken hey, all right. the run back.
Good job to Killer Kai. Here at Super Arcade. And also, I want to say, check out the background. You can see Super Arcade really getting fleshed out, you know, again with all of its games coming back there. Yeah, it's nice to actually see some arcade caps in yeah, here. Yeah, they have sure. CVS2 here now they as do, well. They do, they CVS2, do. CVS2, Third Strike, Super Turbo. Lots of Bomani games. Yeah, congrats to to uh, Oliver, who I will now invite to talk about things. Hey, you want to come talk? All right, here you go. I'm going to give you my headphone. Enjoy, James. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to be home. What's going on, Oliver? Not much. First run back since God knows when, and yeah, come taking back. Taking it, taking it, huh? <laughs> Haven't lost a little, uh, no rust, huh? There's definitely some rust there, but I mean, the cheapness of my new team kind of makes yeah, up for yeah. that. <laughs> I was about to say, how do you like your new team compared to the old team? Well, I... I've learned a lot today in that there's like the team is very fragile. So then there are a lot of counter rush teams that do well against it. Like I played Freedom earlier, who like had the ability to just run through my entire defense, mm. and so I kind of had to switch to Taskmaster. And then I also can't put up with um, someone using my own stuff against me. So when I fought <laughs> Steve Moreno, who was using um, Sons of Sparta and Strider, I thought, okay, I need to go back to what I know. You're like, this is but cheap, man. Yeah. So <laughs> but I'm, let's see. Right now, it's. I'm kind of in that zone where everything is just flowing perfectly and casual, but in tournament, like it's there's still kind of that huge discrepancy, and right, so I'm right. just trying to narrow that gap a little by little. But you're, so you're not you're not able to make it out to final round, are you? That's not well right now. Yeah, that's not the plan. I told Justin that if um, he needed one more person on Team SoCal, I would definitely consider buying a ticket. But from what I last heard, Marn is now good to go to the final mm, round. So okay. that, that's a complete SoCal team. I am, I have complete faith in okay, them. Okay, gotcha, so. gotcha. Cool, cool. So I mean. Have you been practicing this game this whole time that you... Lately, I've only had time to really get in like three hours a week. Like every Friday on, at the oh, Super wow. Arcade, I just okay, show up. Okay. And so like lately, over the last couple months, uh, there's a lot of real life stuff that came up. And so I haven't had as much time to practice. And as a result, I realized, okay, if I want to keep competing at a high level, I need to stop messing around, <laughs> play to win, just go straight to the cheap, st stuff. The cheap stuff. And then, yeah, I can... I can still um, put in my three hours a week and then uh, still compete at a high level. And hey, how do you feel like your Strider's coming along right now? Well, okay, here's the thing. When I first played Ultimate, my first team was Virgil, Beast Right, Strider. So I already oh, had some okay, Virgil okay. Strider experience, but gotcha, gotcha. I just never had a reason to switch over because I, I just quite frankly had a lot more fun playing that team, like right, my original right. team. And so your original team, of course, for the stream to know, it was zero. Taskmaster uh, or Wesker. Wesker right? yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll still keep the um, Taskmaster and Wesker around, but as a whole, this is a better team to go with. Now, I mean, me and David were talking about Filipino Champ's uh, tier list that he had recently, where he had the characters that matter in the upper half, and in the bottom half, he just ordered them with whatever. Yeah. And um, the one that stood out to me, obviously, was Wesker, who was a character that everyone <laughs> was scared of, and now Filipino Champ throws well, him in the bottom half and the don't matter pile. <laughs> Actually, um, I was watching his stream when he did. That was uh, like the the tier list that they posted up was actually the first version when he was trolling people. Later, he moved Wesker. Up. Oh, okay. But yeah, okay, he okay, he truly okay. doesn't believe Wesker. Well, the fact is, um, Wesker he's still good. It's just that right. like there's no really real reason to pick him. It's kind of like Blackheart or Doom in Marvel Two. I mean, they were right, still good. Right, they could right. still hang. But you know, if you want to compete at the highest levels with um, with no inhibitions, <laughs> just there's right. a set, there's a certain roster you should go with. Because I mean, obviously, there's another player that thinks that Wesker's kind of useless, and that's Vasant, right? I mean, Jay has said that he's like, you can't, you just can't win with Wesker anymore. Wesker, he's the thing is that this game is kind of gearing towards, it's gearing towards a point where there are the dominant characters that can just like run forward, and Wesker, he's. He's one of the most versatile characters in the game. He's got an answer to everything, but right. then, like at the speed this game is being played at, like everything's being thrown at you, you don't have as much time to adapt and like mm. switch to, like switch game plans. And so, right, right. like, and for me, that's one of the reasons why I actually dropped my team because, like, for me to make Taskmaster Wesker work, like I need to be able to be on top of my game and see things happen before they actually do happen. And so lately, right, with right. the amount of time I've been playing, I can't do that as consistently anymore. So, yeah, just. Better make things easier for myself. Nice, nice. So is this pretty much the team that you're going to be using up all the way until EVO, you think? I think so. I mean, right now I'm I'm just experimenting. I'm still exploring. This is all research for me. I'm right, trying right. to see, like, what other matchups are giving this problems. I think, like, there are Captain America and Spencer teams that are giving my Virgil at point problems. Right. And so, like, of course, like, um, Marn also plays this team as well, but he plays zero at point. That just doesn't, like, with this team, zero doesn't really fit my style because... It's um, pure right, offense right. the second you start zero. With um, 
with um, Virgil, at least I can play like the grind out style I'm more used to, and right. then land that hit, and tag into full combo, get the kill, and dude. Yeah. I saw that combo that you did with the Virgil OTG into the zero, that one touch uppercut. Which one? With the oh, zero yeah. assist. Yeah. Dude, was that your own creation, or did you just find that somewhere? Because that oh, people I saw have known that. about it for a while. Okay, I just don't okay. think that most people actually make use of it because they're not putting Virgil at point with zero, oh, like zero starts, and then zero, right, Virgil's right, the anchor. Right, right. Like, sense, right. by, if you're playing by the book, Virgil ha zero has to be at point. Virgil's at anchor, but. I mean, I just like to play, I've always liked to play Virgil at point. Okay, okay, because that was sick. I saw that. That was the first time I saw that, so yeah, it's good stuff, good stuff. All right, you, cool. Well, con congratulations. Thank you. And uh, do you think you'll be back next week to try to defend your title? I don't think I can. Like, the only reason I'm here is because I'm healing an injury right now. Oh. So every Thursday nights I'm usually training. And so gotcha, I decided gotcha. to take a week off, show up, and, yeah, just showcase some of my new stuff. Hey, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good, man. Just, you know, come back. Win, I'll run back. back, whatever, you know. I'll yeah, come back I'll come back in, next time I'm injured or next time, like, I need to rest or something. But, Fair hey, enough. I mean, it was great to come back. Great to see everyone. Good um, to see that you're still on your game. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, stream. Yep. Thanks for the support. And, yeah, so I am going to go collect my winnings right now. So <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Um, all right. All right. Hey, congrats again. Thanks congrats again, James. Again. And I will see you guys hopefully in the near future.